When a baby's crying, everyone says, oh, baby must be hungry. But there's ways to know that baby's getting hungry before that point and ways to know when your baby is full. If you hold off till the end, I'm going to quickly go over how often your breastfed baby should be eating and how to know if they're getting enough. Are you ready? Let's go. Be confident and successful in your breastfeeding journey. <laughs> to know when your baby's hungry, there are three feeding cues, kind of levels to know that they're getting hungry. There's an early, a mid, and a late feeding cue. So an early feeding cue is when baby is alert, looking around, they're starting to chew on their hand a little bit, they're opening and closing their mouth, making kind of lip smacking noises, and rooting where that's turning towards you, trying to look for the breast. Now a mid feeding cue shows all of those same signs, but baby will get a little more aggressive about it and start to fuss just a little. And then a late feeding cue is when baby is crying and they're really upset. Sometimes we can't help but get to that late feeding cue. You might be busy doing something and you're trying to hurry to get to baby. Maybe you're in the grocery store line and that's when baby decide they're hungry. Don't feel like you're the worst mother ever if your baby gets to that crying hungry point. But if you can get to baby earlier, that's best mainly because baby wants you to comfort them, of course, and, and get to their needs as soon as possible because they're crying if they're in distress at some point. But also for breastfeeding moms, if baby's crying, their tongue pushes up into the roof of their mouth and it doesn't push out like it should be and you're not going to get a good latch at the breast. And so baby's going to be taking in a little bit more air. Baby might not be emptying your breast completely like they normally do, so that can cause some clogged ducts and the air will cause some tummy issues for baby. So try to calm baby down before you latch them at the breast if they're to that point of being upset. If you can't calm them, then go ahead and just put them on the breast. But if you can walk around with baby on your shoulder and try to soothe them first and then go to the breast, that would be best if possible. Now you'll know that baby is full if they fall off the breast or come off easily, if they're relaxed, falling asleep, and their hands are no longer fists, but opened and relaxed. If you have a newborn and you feel like they're just falling asleep and they may still be hungry, but you're having trouble waking them up, I do have a video on how to keep your baby awake while nursing. So I'll link that at the end for you to check out. Now for that little bit of extra information I wanted to add, and this is for breastfed newborn babies especially. Your baby should be eating eight to 12 times every 24 hours, but some babies eat much more often. They may wanna nurse every hour or some even every 45 minutes. And I just don't want you to believe that your milk supply is low, but if you think it could be, meet with a lactation counselor as soon as you can. Now, a baby should always have six or more wet diapers every 24 hours, and this is for a baby six days old or older. Less than that, they should have one wet diaper for every day old that they are. So a one day old baby should have one or more wet diapers, two day old, two or more wet diapers. But baby forever after day six should always have six or more wet diapers every 24 hours. I hope that helps and if you have any questions, mommy, please let me know and I'll try to get back to you just as soon as possible. Thanks a lot, mommy. You got this. <laughs>